we're off now to see one of the beehives. I thought it might be interesting to everybody to see down this track where the bees are kept the amount of wildflowers that are here for the bees. And it might be corn and things in the fields but there's uh, loads of foraging for the bees. So we'll just have a look through with this so you can see. trees here that they get nectar from. So it'll be interesting to see, um, my idea is the June gap. We're going to go look at some hives and see the June, June gap where you get no nectar. So um, it'll be good to see whether they've got stores enough to uh, keep them going when, the, when we've got the June gap. So we'll look at one hive and see what they've got and now I'll look at another hive that I'm feeding because I know they haven't got enough stores to see them through the month. So this is the idea of this video. I hope you find it interesting. Yeah look there's some really pretty flowers there. You yeah, know lots of uh, nectar and pollen for the bees and there's all the shrubs and hedges. So we see now the amount of food in the hive. Yeah, I've got um, a bucket on top of the hive here because it's an isolated um, place this apiary and it's got water in it and grass so the bees can get in there and take really it's ideal not to put it on top of the hive because you might poo in it but I haven't really got anywhere here to put it because it's full of weeds everywhere so that's one thing we're just going to go in here now see if there's much honey in here. I'll take the honey super off. Oh yeah, it's got a bit of weight in it. We might have a look in it in a minute, but it's got some it's got a bit of weight in there. So we've just giving them a bit of smoke to get get them off the uh, queen excluder. Stuck down. Now these bees they were quite defensive but we've requeened it with one of them nice queens that we bred so it's start now to uh, be a bit calmer and the basic thing to look in at this hive for is to see that we've got food for them. So we're looking for food. So this is three quarters full, there's the old queen cells that I've put in there, three quarters full with nectar that is, if the camera can see it, but it's, that's all nectar on there. There's no queen there so we put that there. We'll have a little look in. So what we're looking for is for food mainly from the June Gap. This is three quarters full of nectar. So they've got plenty of nectar there and that has got loads of pollen and nectar. Have a look at this one. The idea is to see that you've got plenty of stores and that's three quarters full of nectar
and that's actually got some larvae in there as well. It's got eggs and larvae in this. So the queen could be on this one. Eggs and larvae and loads of nectar. All around here this is all nectar. I know it's not capped honey but it's three quarters full of nectar. It's heavy. So they didn't need food in the June Gap. The, the whole hive is full of bees. There's some honey that's capped right there, they haven't even touched it. So it's so soft, that honey. And so, that, you know, they've got plenty of stores in there. So they haven't gone without, have they? That's full of eggs as well. So the queen could be on that one, but it isn't, I don't think. Yep, full of eggs. Look. I'll go on to the next frame now. This is absolutely jammed with eggs, that frame. Every sale's got an egg in it, so obviously she was on there. I'm surprised the Queen's not on there, actually. Look at that, a complete carpet of brood. That's a textbook frame of brood. Full right round every cell and cat brood that's so that shows you it's got a good queen look both sides full up that one not so much but this one almost to the edge what well, we're looking for the queen if we do see it we see it mm. uh, there's some brood just showing there it's um, ivory colour and it's there's no chalk brood in it, it's look nice. So that's good. You can see these bees, they wasn't short of food in the June Gap, were they? That's all full of larvae and eggs, this one. This has got, um, this one has got ivory white. Is that up to the camera and in focus, mm -hmm. Will? Yep. There's a lot of ivory coloured um, brood in there. It's really um, nice condition, well fed. It's so they've had plenty of feed. So the June Gap didn't affect these bees at all. But I know I've got another hive, which I'll take you to, that was short of straws. And I had to feed it, and I'll show you what I fed it with. So they're not all the same, they don't all need feeding. In my opinion, that's my way of beekeeping, it's not everybody's way. So this one is what they've made themselves. This frame is uh, an empty frame I've put in, and they've drawn that all down, and it's mostly Brood, um, drone drone um, cells they built there it's not it's not attached look, so I have to be a little bit careful of how I look at it because it's not attached at the bottom yeah it's all drone that is I do quite often do that is make drone cone where they make their own cone and I haven't, I haven't put foundation in. They draw it down off drones. They're quite, actually quite calm. These were vicious bees. What? You're fine. Oh, was there one buzzing you, Phil? You're fine. Phil hasn't got a suit on and it's the first time he's had one butt in then. But they used to completely attack you once. Yeah. I think he was more intrigued to what I was doing. Yeah, they really do feel as being brave here with no no suit on at all. <laughs> but these would really attack you. It just shows you a change of a queen, and uh, they've calmed down a great deal. Yeah, definitely. They would get you from a hundred yards. So that's great. But look at the. It's a good, a well covered 
frame there really well covered you can see uh, even though there's a couple of gaps but they're full of eggs or stores so we'll just have a look at this one the ambition of this was not really to find the queen we would like to have seen her but it's to see that they got enough food well look at that another complete full of brood or cat so it shows you that queen was well mated mm -hmm. that was the one we bred ourselves and you can see it on the other videos and uh, it was a queen cell that I put in here or left in here so that's really nice really like that that's absolutely nice Can we zoom in on that side, Phil? Somehow, mm -hmm. right in. Lift it up a bit. Up. You can see it. Yeah, it's that zoomed in. Yeah. So it's a nice covered, covered frame. Lots of cat brood. And Phil's there with no suit on, so it's quite good. <laughs> He's being very brave. I trust the bees. Well, I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> He's filming, and I'm. Well, it's the last frame I'm going to show you. We haven't seen the Queen, but that's okay. We yeah, know she's. I've been looking good. out for her, but. Yeah, it's uh, marked with a green dot. This Queen. Yeah. It's a. It's a beautiful day. Really hot. God, look at the amount of bees that's going to be in this hive. Absolutely jammy dodged with bees. Yeah. You know, it's a new queen. Very unlikely this new queen's going to swarm because it's, you know, brand new and it's probably not interested in swarming. So, not for a little while anyway. Right, so uh, there's a frame there, full up with pollen. I don't know if you can see that, but it is jam with all different colours of pollen so they did not need a pollen patty they did not need feeding did they so that's June gap for you okay um, have a little look at this honey it's obviously as I say the June gap uh, can actually carefully you should really start from this end so you don't squash any bees I could take that out see there's nothing on that it's empty just a plastic frame I'll open this up bring that back oh that's it and uh, we've got in here three quarters full of um, nectar that is it's, oh, it's not cat obviously but it's three quarters full of nectar it's near to the top of the cell so they got plenty of reserves they could have even taken that out and took it downstairs if they got hungry so you know they're even bringing in uh, honey for the super so they're a long way off of being hungry aren't they mm -hmm. they haven't drawn that yet obviously but they will do. We'll leave them to it now. And we'll fill up their water bowl. Yeah, oh yeah, we've got to fill the water bottle up. Fill on me. Uh, it's a baking hot day. I think it's about 25 degrees or something. Really hot. And yeah, I'm just giving to make sure they've got plenty of water. Fill that up and they've got the grass grass there they can stand on the grass and drink the water okay the puffer that's what Phil there you are Phil there's Phil obviously with the bees and no suit on and he's perfectly okay and uh, any person within a hundred yards before they would sting you violently so changing the Queen has worked
happy here we bees. Go. Here's what, Phil, no stings? No stings, happy bees. Right, so we're going off to the next beehive now to see one that did need feeding. Here we go. When I was a little boy, we used to pick these little flowers. I don't know what they're called. They're weeds, but they're nice flowers. And we used to turn that round there like that, that little stem, and then we used to fire, the, fire them off. Out like that. <laughs> when we were <laughs> little kids, that's what we did. You can still do it. Best that's, toy ever. Yes. Come on, let's go and see that other hive. Here we are, everyone, at the second apiary. I um, hope Yakko is uh, watching. I know Yakko asked me to do the June Gap video, and uh, I don't know whether you've got whether you're in England, Yakko, or another country like Italy. And uh, obviously, it would be different wherever you are for the foraging. So um, this is my area in Shepherd's Well, Kent, where. You know, we were observing these. This is a feed I've put on, a, a thick syrup. Um, it's two to one ratio to help these bees out. We we'll take this off. There's a pollen pate I've put on there, and they're. Uh, really on the pollen pate, they're all chewing away at it. <laughs> I'll zoom in a little bit. a little bit better I think. You can see there's a lot of bees on this pate. Um, I'll try and show you a frame. You see where they've been chewing that away look. They've been chewing right through there and I didn't put this on long ago, a few days ago because I, when I looked at it I thought they haven't got any food in there from the June Gap. We'll put that there a minute. I just want to try and show you a frame if I can. Let's show you that there's no food much in here, Yako. I hope that's how I pronounce your name. It's an Italian name. We look through here. This is um, it's got some crystallised um, nectar in there. Actually, there's no queen on there. A bit crystallised, but in here I know there was empty frames. Yeah, that's it has got a little bit of um, a little tiny bit of uh, crystallised honey in there. Probably about a pound in weight in that one. So this one is completely empty here. It's got some a little bit of crystallised honey there. But as we come through to here now, I remember seeing nothing. There was no pollen in here. They've actually put some, they put a bit of syrup in there now, there's some syrup there, they probably took that from the feed I gave them, there's a little bit of syrup, where there was nothing that was empty, when I looked before, and this is quite light, there's no weight to it. This has actually got, there's nothing in there. It's got that little bit there, a lot of honey. But there, there's not, there's no pollen I haven't seen in there. So it's been void of pollen.
this one we've got eggs in this one they've got eggs in there so and we've got eggs in this side see we have got a little bit of stores there but there's no pollen no pollen at all in this so that's good that I'm giving them the pollen patty oh there's the queen here just walking about look I don't know if you can see it, let's have a look, where, where is she? There she goes, I'll make her go back. She's walking that way. She's just there. Walking back now. Just in the end of my finger. So she's okay, but... Still no pollen in here only a bit of nectar and this is very light this is light as anything but it's full of eggs that side's full of eggs so is this side so the whole of that side and the whole of that side is full of eggs so there now we've got the pollen patty on there the queen is really going for it and laying loads of eggs And let's have a look at this side. And this is this too. The whole of this is all laid up with one or two day old eggs. Um, we'll have a look now. We're going to get to the cat brood now because I can see some here. There's the cat brood. It's um, absolute. All this is laid with larvae and eggs and there's some cat brood in the middle. So it's not a it's not a brilliant this is full of larvae and eggs and everything here, the whole thing. But she's only really started laying in the last sort of week or two. And um, and uh, it's not really what I'd call thriving, but there's, the larvae is very good, it's nice ivory colour, so we're okay, but there's no, I haven't seen any pollen in any of these, oh there's a bit here look, that's the first piece of pollen I've seen, and there's just a bit of pollen there, so normally this first frame in a hive, this one here, is full of pollen, jammed, jammy dodged with pollen right, And there is pollen in there now actually, but you know there is actually some pollen in there. But this hive is still quite slow. So that's why I've given it the pollen pate. I'll put it back together now. So you know this is gonna this is gonna come nice now this hive by feeding it now and giving it every hope I'll probably feed it a little bit more and then I'll um I'll get the bees off of here to put the pate back. It's always a bit difficult putting these pates on to make sure you get your bees off. Oh. Get your bees off. Like that. I know I've done like that, but I've got to get them off. Yeah, this one there, you see. Get that off. Yeah, that's the pate's on there again. And then you put a little bit of eek on there, like that, just to stop. This eek, look, I've got that. You can make this into an entrance if you want to. If you're doing a Bailey cone change or something, so I've got that on there. We put the eek on there, put the crown ball back, and we put the we've got this feed on there, and the bees are in there, a couple of them in there drinking away. That's okay. They've got they got feed, they've got pollen. So 
Yakko, I hope you could see the difference in the two hives. There was a bit of stores in here, but not the amount I would have liked for the queen to lay loads of uh, larvae so that the bees can feed the larvae and they've got plenty of resources for them. So that's why I've given them this extra. So I only feed in the June gap if needed. I could have almost left this, but I might as well help them and uh, then soon I'll be putting another brood box on top of here to make it bigger. Okay? okay. Right, Yako, I hope you enjoyed that little film. Uh, the reason I had whiskers just now, you saw that I was unshaven, is because I'm going to a fancy dress as Bill Sykes. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone, and it is John the Bee Man Saunders here, dressed up. See you all again soon, and, uh, and bye from the Bill Sykes dog as well we got. Ta-da everyone! Bullseye! Bullseye! Come here! Come here Bullseye! <laughs>